Welcome to today's show. I picked five songs, grabbed my acoustic guitar, a digital audio recorder, sat down, and just played. These were recorded at Armstrong Studios, better known as the Man Cave, with an Ovation guitar, some beer, and a Sony digital recorder. This song was co-written and recorded by Travis Tripp, and it was released in November of 1992 as the second single release on his CD, Trouble. The song reached the top of the Billboard's Hot Country Singles and Traps, which is now known as the Hot Country Songs Chart. The song was written by Travis Tritt and Stuart Harris. When you meet that certain someone You've been searching hard to find It's a new love full of passion That can sometimes make you blind I don't mind being swept away if I know right from the start. So before we go much further, girl, can I trust you with my heart? In the time we've spent together, I have learned to trust in you. So many things you've given, for I even asked you to. But reality and romance are sometimes fall apart. So what I really need to know is, can I trust you with my all? Can I cast my cares upon you? Can you stand a heavy load? Can I count on you to walk me down that long and wide? You promise me these simple things I can guarantee You can always count on me Yeah, yeah Oh, oh. Can I cast my cares upon you? Can you stand the heavy load? Can I count on you to walk me down that long and winding road? You promise me these simple things I can guarantee. You can always count on me. When two hearts slowly surrender and our soul completes a perfect union between a woman and a man so please don't misunderstand me I don't want to go too far without knowing just one answer can I trust you with my heart please girl give me just one answer can I trust you with my This is a song written and recorded by Hank Williams in 1949. Williams wrote the song originally intending that the words be spoken rather than sung, as he had done in several of his Luke the Drifter recordings. The song about loneliness was largely inspired by his troubled relationship with wife Audrey Shepard. With evocative lyrics such as the opening lines, the song has been covered by a wide range of musicians during his Aloha from Hawaii TV special. Singer Elvis Presley introduced it by saying, I'd like to sing a song that's probably the saddest song I've ever heard. According to Colin Escott's 2004 book, Hank Williams, a biography, Williams was inspired to write the song when he found he was on a schedule of upcoming MGM releases. The song was recorded on August 30, 1949 at Herzog Studio in Cincinnati, Ohio. Williams is backed by members of the Pleasant Valley Boys. Zeke Turner on lead guitar, Jerry Bird on steel guitar, and Louis Innes on rhythm guitar as well as Tommy Jackson on the fiddle and Ernie Newton on bass. As Escott observes, the plaintive despair in Williams' voice on the recording is echoed by the backing of the musicians. Zeke Turner underpinned the song with recurring figures on the bass strings of the electric guitar. A few weeks earlier, Turner had led the backing on the Delmore Brothers' recording of the blues Stay Away From Me using very similar licks. Jerry Bird played his solo with unusual simplicity, 
paraphrasing the melody to haunting effect, subtly adjusting tone and volume, Hank saying with unshakable conviction. Remarkably, the song was released as the B-side to the blues, My Bucket's Got a Hole in It, because up-tempo numbers were deemed more appropriate for the jukebox trade than melancholy ballads. The single reached number four in the country chart in 1949. The song has become closely identified with Williams' legend and musical legacy and has been widely praised. In the 2003 documentary, The Road to Nashville, singer Katie Lang states, I think it is one of the most classic American songs ever written. Truly beautiful song. In his autobiography, Bob Dylan recalls, even at a young age, I identified with it. I didn't have to experience anything that Hank did to know what he was singing about. I'd never experienced any of, any of that, but could imagine it, had, and it made me sad. In its online biography of the singer, Rolling Stones notes, in tracks like this, Williams expressed intense personal emotions with country's traditional plain-spoken directness. A then revolutionary approach that has come to define the genre through the works of subsequent artists from George Jones and Willie Nelson to Graham Parsons and Dwight Yoakam. Rolling Stone ranked it number 111, way too low in my opinion, on their list of the 500 greatest songs of all time, the oldest song on the list, and number three on its 100 greatest country songs of all time. Let me not train in winding I'm so lonesome in my good ground I've never seen a night so long The time goes across This is a song written and recorded by Merle Haggard. It was released in May of 1982 as the third single from his album Big City. The song reached number two on the Billboard Hot Country Singles chart and number one on the RPM Country Tracks chart in Canada. You know you're good when you can chart in Canada. Buck was still silver back when the country was strong. Back before it was Vietnam War. Oh, the Beatles and yesterday. Best of the free line behind us now. Time's over for good. All 
be rolling down hill like a snowball headed for hell. No kind of chance for the flag on the liberty bell. Was a Ford or a Chevy? Best of the free life behind us now. And times will be over for good. Wish a coke was still cooler. The joint was a bad place to be. Just back before Nixon. It was all. TV before microwave oven, the girl could still cook, still more. Best of the free life behind us now, and over for good. Stop rolling down. The snowball headed for him. Stand up on the flag that's already the Liberty Bell. Let's make a Ford and a Chevy. Best of the free life is still yet to come. Good time, no word for good. Good time, no word for good. This song was performed by Hank Williams Jr. and appears on the album Family Tradition in 1978. I think with the state of the criminal justice system, a lot of people can identify with this song. With crime rates soaring, the police under attack, and the moral compass of the entire country broken, I have no qualms about letting you all know. If you hurt my family, I'm pretty sure there's an empty trunk in Jersey somewhere. Went down to the America Give me one of them Smith and Wesson Magnum 44s. There's a man that the Lord let loose and justice was not done. This man killed my wife and my son. Went down to the America. I'll never forget the way he looked all through the trial. Had his big name loyal. And he had that smirky smile Oh yeah, he got you all from a techno cavity But you'll have to grow wings and fly Cause I got rights I got rights too This time there won't be no damn law Gonna read you your rights. Got a right to know what you're gonna go to one of those black nights. When the trial was over, had this nerve to say that's the way it goes. He said, Hoss, you better get you some courts. Cause you're gonna have to plug up a few holes. Yes, he thought I was talking. Just to pass away time But it kinda looks different now Respect for his life Cause I got rights I got rights too This time there won't be no damn laws It's a system to protect me I'm gonna read you Gonna read you your rights 
got a right to know that you're gonna go to hell with black eyes. I got rights, I got some rights too. No, this time there won't be no damn This is a song written by Jack Tempkin and recorded by the Eagles. It was the third single from the band's 1972 debut album, Eagles. The single reached number 22 on the charts and is one of the band's most popular songs. Glenn Fry sings the lead vocal with Bernie Leadon providing the main harmony vocal, starting in the beginning of the second verse, and Randy Meisner completing this three-part harmony. Tommy Shannon, the former bass player for Stevie Ray Vaughan, stated that this song was playing on the radio when he found out about the helicopter accident that took Vaughn's life. Jack Temkin wrote this song during a period in which he was performing at folk coffee shops around his hometown of San Diego. And I found that's when people write the best songs, in those coffee shops, when they're struggling. A friend had created a poster to advertise his performances, which included fake quotes from famous individuals attesting to Temkin's talent which landed in the hands of a shop owner in nearby El Centro. Tempkin slept on the floor of the club the night of the show and wrote an early version on the back of the poster. Back in San Diego, Tempkin was rooming in a communal type home with other musicians when inspiration for completing the song hit. He was quoted as saying, we'd sit in front of the picture window and watch the beautiful girls on the bus stop bench and fall, fall in love with them until their bus came. We talked in those days about how love never seemed to show up until you stopped looking for it. But, as young guys, we were unable to stop looking for love, even for one day. During a following trip to Old Town San Diego State Historic Park, Tempkin saw a girl with turquoise earrings against her dark skin, which he incorporated into the song. I guess I was trying to distill the beauty of every girl I saw into words on paper and then into a song, he later stated. He later completed the song's third verse in the parking lot of the Dur of Wiener Schnitzel fast food establishment in San Diego. Sometime later, Temkin had moved to Los Angeles and was attempting to break into the music industry alongside Jackson Brown, Glenn Fry, and J.D. Souther. Fry heard Temkin's song and asked if he could develop it further, adding that his new band, The Eagles, had only just formed eight days prior. He presented Temkin with a cassette demo on the track the next day, who later remarked, it was so good, I couldn't believe it.
Yes, I'm already staying.